Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pop Culture Reacts. And we are back in the people's list. And I'm today... going to point at something. Ooh. List? <laughs> <laughs> the people's blank list, according to that piece of paper. Yes. Uh, and we are at Gagaric Spin and Mindset. Um, I have no idea what this Same is, here. but I can't remember what video it's come off, but because it's in kanji, I'm guessing it will be one of our many Japanese-based bands and follow-up, here's another one, try those. Have we, have we, and I don't think we have, but I want you to uh, to reinforce my memory, have we hit a Japanese band like so far that we haven't liked that's been recommended to us? I don't think we have, have we? No, no, most of it has been high very, high bar very solid levels. right the way up to excellent hasn't it yeah yeah so there is a high so bar whoever recommended this yeah to come in with. It's, on, it's on you if you've picked the first bad japanese band for us um <laughs> yeah I, I think like um uh, because of the videos that we've done I, i'd have a guesstimate at probably what roughly what we're going to get but the truth of it is is it's like we don't know it's a mystery we love a bit of a mystery and one day it's going to be something that we're really not expecting at all, isn't it? Like, uh, yeah. I don't know, it'll be a Japanese opera or something like that. And that's opera Which... singing, not the Japanese opera Winfrey. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so shall we get our mind set? Let's do this. I'm not sure 
Well, that one went everywhere, didn't it? That was different. That was here, there, every bloody where. Yeah, that, that's like... It was funky as fuck. Yeah. But like, massively hyper-pop as well. Sort of, in that sort of really saccharine... Well, and I think initially it would... I thought, oh, like, yeah. Started off brilliantly, I think, for both of us. Had a lovely yeah. bit of like a uh, funky slap bass beginning, like yeah, very much in our wheelhouse. But I think, like initially, I thought, oh, we okay, we're going to then go into something a bit rockier, um, yeah. which I think it did transition into for a little while. But I think for the most part, you know, you, you kind of come out of that, and and as you say, I think for the most part, we're playing in funk, freeform jazz, and pop, aren't we? Like. Yeah. Um, because I think even lyrically at first, or, or vocally, sorry, rather than lyrically, I'll get to lyrically in a minute. Um, vocally, um, was really surprised at first about the, the the deepness that was coming through the voice, the kind of bassy tones of the voice, and mm. and it's one of those kind of preconception things of you see the face and the voice doesn't. But that was only really there early, and then yeah. everything kind of then transitioned into, yeah, a, a lot more of a. a a poppy vibe and and when i say a poppy vibe i think um you know we said about like the funkiness of it i think even with that vocal delivery lots of kind of interesting quirky funky moments where like you know there's pauses and we were better like a sh or something like that afterwards and mm. yeah i don't know I, I i kind of really liked that element of it I, I thought it was it kept it forever interesting throughout for me i didn't know where yeah, we it, were going next yeah it it, it was one of those obviously because the stuff that we've done so far, I was going like all the way through. It's like, is there going to be just like this weird <laughs> yeah. breakdown moment where it just goes fucking yeah. like brutal or like yeah. heavy? Or is there, there going to be that in there? And as we all know, I love a fucking breakdown and a metal bit. It didn't need it. It wasn't. No. It wasn't something no. that was like, oh, that should have had that because it. But, it, but always it felt there was, was a slight. Sort of, Threat or risk, been. didn't it? Yeah, it yeah, yeah. But but yeah, I think you're right. I think I think it, it it didn't need it because you know I said I was like about it keeping me on my toes, but in a good way. Like yeah. you know sometimes, and, and you're right, partially because of some of the bands that we've done and some of the bands that we like. I think we've become quite used to. We've joked before about we're probably never going to be those ones who go oh when it changes because we've we've experienced it a lot. But yeah. um. Sometimes it's nice for to feel like it could go anywhere, but not necessarily go into the further reaches of extreme changes as it as it can do. And yeah, I, 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 it sounds like such a reductive way to do it, but I just found I was having fun all the way through it. Um, I was enjoying everything that I was hearing, mm. um, even when I would say it was at certain parts in genres and styles that isn't necessarily my wheelhouse or that i would resonate yeah. to but because it was in this interesting piece i was like yep yep keep this coming keep this coming um it, yeah it's one of those really liked it because obviously listening to abstract japan tyler's um podcast yeah he does play a lot of like the japanese hyper street pop stuff 
yeah. which that vocal sit, sits very much in that and it's all very sort of dreamy and a little bit synthy. But to have like the funkiness sort of sat under it and as you say, the jazzy bits that just sort of like, okay. Yeah. And it just sort of melds it all so well that I'm just like, I'm intrigued by these lot. Well, to be like, one of the, sorry, go around, sorry. Where else and what else are are they? Yeah. Capable of doing and like, what else do they go? Oh, we'll throw that bit here, that bit there. Even whilst playing in kind of some, um, probably, familiar genres to people more more than i um go back to that kind of creative mindset of going i feel like you're playing in them rather than like every song would follow a formula and and yeah. much like you said there makes me very excited for what else there is out there and, and what else they do and um we often talk about song length and you know like I guess you don't know until you record it and you know obviously bands often don't just record it once and go well that's it done Tyrio. um and this song felt much longer than it was in a good way for me like this felt like because i think of those transitions it actually felt to me around and it does top out around about the five minutes but it felt about sort of seven seven and a half minutes and i liked it for that i i like the fact that it felt like there was a lot more content in there for even the time that it had to breathe, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think because, obviously, I, I know we, we wax a little about Max and Hormone, but if you look at the amount of time they sit in a style, is yeah. quite short. It is quite jump, 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 jump. Yeah. Whereas with this, if you think that funk breakdown in the middle yeah. was was probably a, only about 40 seconds. Yeah. But it felt like a couple of minutes. The little jazzy it bit. It felt again, almost like probably... a song itself, that funk breakdown, didn't it? It yeah. felt like a another band would have just used that bit as their song. Yeah. Yeah, and like the jazzy bit probably was only about twenty seconds. But yeah. because what they did with it, it felt longer and and it's having a all of it fit so well and melded so well that none of it even though they are longer transitions, and as I said, than what you'd get with Max and Hormone or something like that, that does, does that sort of blending of styles. None of it outstays its welcome. No. And it all keeps you engaged as well. And as I said, yeah. I'm very much, let us know down there more of the, yeah. their stuff. Oh, uh, these will be back. Um, uh, one thing I will be more prepared on, and you know, I said, I said I'll come back to lyrically. So I did attempt to have the lyrics up so that I could kind of follow on the lyrics. Um, uh, I, I was, I would say, was dubious by the lyrics that I was reading. So I called up another set of lyrics that have been translated into English, and they were totally different. And then called up a third one, which was totally different again. So I cannot speak for the lyrical content. We, we, we've said this some, for some other bands, haven't we? Where sometimes we don't. Sometimes we just go, let's experience it. And then, like, look up the kind of lyrics afterwards. And I will look up the lyrics because I am interested as to what the lyrical content is that's coming along with um, this musically. But, but yeah. yeah, my attempts, my attempts pre and in song failed miserably. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> apologies for not being able to talk about what this does lyrically. Yes. Uh, so, as always, down two there, thumbs up. Let us know story. what you think. And um, said more suggestions of Dark Oak Spin. And until next time, do all the YouTube things. Before that, of like, subscribe, and ringing bells. Forgot the YouTube things. Ah, uh, YouTube smooth tube. <laughs> until next time, good day. <laughs>